<laughs> now that I know it's coming, I should start laughing already. So I ran into a... Fr uh, <laughs> okay. So bumped into this buddy of mine the other day, and he is a huge foodie. Turns out he just got back from this amazing trip to the moon. While there, of course, he had to sample some of the restaurants. I said, hey, bro, how was it? He said, you know what? The food was great, but the atmosphere wasn't there. <laughs> Tell me you did not see that one coming. You didn't see that one coming. That was good. Ah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what up guys? Welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. Listen, I hope that joke put a smile on your face, but I got something that's even better that will put an even bigger smile on your face. And that news is my new book is finally here. Yes, it has been almost two years in the making and I'm finally able to put my hands on a physical copy of the finished product. And let me tell you, it is absolutely beautiful. I'm so proud of the hard work. In fact, I was leaving last week for a trip out to LA and I opened my doorstep and there it was. And I had to literally run back inside and just un box it myself because I just wanted to savor that moment. Check it out. So I'm hyped. I just came home from a workout and this was on my front doorstep. I have not seen it yet. <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Here's the copy of the book right now. I just, um, this is me. It's me in the book, in my kitchen. I wrote all this stuff in here. I wrote that this is the, these are the 10 commandments of meal prep. So one thing that was really important for me for the book was to make sure there is tons of food porn. Look at the cabbage wraps. Low carb spaghetti meatball. If I would just buy the book based off the photos alone. Not to make a bad pun, but I am full right now. I'm like overjoyed. I know you're gonna love it. It's gonna be a great road mapping tool for you. And this is a, what a great milestone right now. So I wanna take a moment right now and just to walk you through the book because when I say it's, it's hitting, it's not just cause it's my book, but I'm just so proud of the final outcome here. The book is amazingly beautiful. Look at these colors just right here. Just kinda hit you, right? I got a lot of questions saying, hey Kev, is this gonna be one of those cookbooks without a whole bunch of photos? And the answer to that is no, absolutely not. We spent two weeks, guys, two weeks literally here in Dallas, eight hours a day, filming all the recipes. We worked with a food stylist and also a photographer, so you can see that nearly every single recipe has a colorful photo with it because that's really, really, really important to me. One thing that I wanna show here and highlight is to kind of give you some background on the book and how I came up with some of the creative for it was, you know, I'm known in social media as the person who does all of the different videos on Instagram and Facebook and here on YouTube. So I'm much more action oriented. So how do we bring that energy into the photos here? The food styles that we have, she does stuff for like the high end magazines, these well known brands and everything was always picture perfect. And I told her, no, I don't want picture perfect. I don't want this like pristine like counter top. I want a messy countertop. I want ingredients spread out. I want a whole bunch of action shots. So you can see, that's me. I am shaking up some cinnamon on top of this banana berry protein crisp for the morning time. But you can see how it's kind of messy. It's there on, on the counter. You can see the action coming out of the little shaker. So all of the photos in the book are much more action oriented because I wanted this to be a book about action and about people actually doing the work. And I think the best way to, to do that would be to kind of put me in it. So you see a lot of the same type of images and you get that same feel as if you're in my kitchen, as if you're watching a Fit Man Cook video. But this is a funny picture right here. I was all for showing a lot of food in these plastic containers. And I thought this was the narrative of meal prep, but a lot of other people were like, no, 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 we, no, we have to use the glass containers. It's much more high end. And my thing was like, it's really cool to use this plastic container and to put something in there that looks so decadent and rich and flavorful and colorful inside of it to kind of make something that looks really cheap or that is really cheap, look super high end. So here's one of the recipes in particular, the barbecue teriyaki chicken, and all of a sudden you have these cheap plastic containers, the ones that we all use and are really well known for lunch, and we're putting this really decadent, colorful dish in there. And it just shows that entire duality between this, this whole idea about meal prep being, being too costly 
but no, it's actually pretty affordable. This entire meal is really cheap, and it's made from ingredients that you probably already have in your pantry. Another element of the book that I wanted to highlight right now is the colors. I wanted everything to be super colorful and vibrant because that's what I think the healthy eating is. I wanted each chapter to have its own color. So for the land and sea chapter, the color is blue. Here's a table of contents for it, that's blue. And then every single recipe has this blue line there, and all the writing is in blue too. So that way, whenever you close the book and you see the different colors and you want to access something pretty quickly, you can just go right here to the blue and open it right on up. Well, this was a comfort food, but okay. <laughs> but you can select your own color. Now, another question that I've been getting in social media is, are these recipes brand new? Is it stuff that we've already seen? And the answer is yes, these recipes are brand new. But I also included about 25 follower favorites and you'll find those in probably the latter part of the book in the comfort food makeover section. And that's like the low carb jambalaya. But you'll also find some brand new ones. This is a low carb spaghetti and meatballs and this is a puttanesca um, spaghetti and meatball dish. But yes, the majority of the recipes, over 80% of the recipes are things that are brand new and that y'all have not seen. This is one of my favorite ones, the stuffed chicken parmesan. I love this one for many reasons. It's super easy and also pretty cheap to make. Now, another part that I wanna highlight, I know that we're all excited about the recipe section, but I am also really excited about the part one of this book. And the part one basically involves the roadmap. I've gotten so many questions from you all about how do I get started? How did I get into healthy eating? How do I do meal prep? How much should I prep? What's a good meal plan to follow? All those things. So essentially, I've taken the past six years learning from you all and your questions and putting out content and condensed them into these pages right here in the very beginning of the book. One of my favorite sections here is the 10 Commandments of Meal Prep. And I'll tell you why. Meal prep has become this buzzword and everybody wants to do it but they actually just don't know how to start. And also I was that person who started out trying to do meal prep and just prepping any and everything and I quickly got burned out. So what these 10 commandments are is basically like a rubric. It's a structure for you to approach healthy eating and healthy living. It's not about being super restrictive with your diet, being an absolutist or, or, or a purist in your diet, but it's much more so about taking these practical ideas and condensing them down into 10 things that you can do in order to live healthier and happier. The first commandment is, by only what you're actually going to eat. Come on, we could just, we could do an entire video just on that topic. And I call this aspirational buys in which we will go into the grocery store and we see all this produce, we see all the fruits and the veggies looking all good and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna eat this, this and this, this and this, and this too. And then in two weeks you open up your produce drawer and it is a science project and everything has just gone bad. This book talks about how to avoid having science projects in your fridge. It also addresses whenever we prep too much, what to do with those leftovers. These are things that we actually need. So I want y'all to dive into the beginning part of the book just as much you're gonna dive into the latter part of the book. Also, it's got some five common pitfalls, the, th the things that I see, see the most when it comes to people failing in their diet and also how I failed. I give you those five common pitfalls. One of them is trying to do too much too soon. Everybody tries to go and do everything at once and you try to overhaul your diet and your entire lifestyle all at once. No, in this book I'm talking about really practical small things that you can do little by little, nudge your way to success. You will win that way. This is not a book about losing this last 10 pounds for your wedding or for you to go to the beach and look good. This is a lifestyle. This is the lifestyle. So if you really want to adopt a healthier, happier, and practical lifestyle, then this is the book I've written here for you. This is the roadmap to that. Also got in commonly asked questions. What do I use? What, what tools do I use? So I've laid out the common tools. I've given you all what's in my pantry list. Here is my weekly grocery list that I actually put in here as well, giving some rationale as to why I purchased some of those things too. I want you all to consume this book both literally and also figuratively. What I want most with this book is that you all take ideas because if I can give 
give you an idea, then you can eat for a lifetime. And here in this book, you have a lifetime of ideas. You can get this book wherever books are sold. You can go to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Target, BAM. It's even available in Canada. And yes, we will be doing a limited run in the UK, so you can get it there as well. But wherever books are sold, you can go and get the Fit Man Cook cookbook. Now, a lot of y'all have sent me emails saying, Kev, how can I support you? I feel like I would like to do more because I sell your recipes. Well, I tell you what, you buying this book would mean the world to me. Um, Pre-orders are really important for small businesses like mine. So if you can go and pre-order before December 4th, it would be great, but I'd like for you to buy the book in any case. And once you go and pre-order, remember to go to my website, fitmancook.com and you can register your pre-order or your purchase after December 4th on my website and that's really important because we are doing a massive campaign giveaway like massive we're gonna be giving away so many different appliances a lot of my brand partners have come on board to help me celebrate the fact that this is my first cookbook so all the cool gadgets you know that you see here in the kitchen we're gonna be giving those away but it's important that once you pre-order and buy the book go to my website and register your copy so that way you can be included in those giveaways and the biggest giveaway of all free groceries for one year that's right free groceries for one year just just imagine all the gains and all the tasty recipes that you can make with that be sure that you pre-order and purchase the book and then register your copy on my website fitmancook.com so that is it for today's video guys um, again I want to thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart for all your support whether you've been following me for a few months or for a few years it means much to me so I want y'all to go out and rush to get this book. I know that you are going to enjoy it. It's got some personal stuff in here about me too, as well, dealing with the mental wellness and how that has impacted this healthy journey that I am still currently on. Thank y'all for watching. Until next time, I want y'all to keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Ooh! Bye guys.